Welcome to Wednesdays with Wayne. Fall is upon us and the greenhouse is filling up with some great fall color items including mums, celosia, our cabbage and kale, some great ornamental peppers, and pansies. But today I really want to focus on ornamental grasses because it's a perfect time to plant them in September and October. You really want to get them established before winter for that winter hardiness and to get them through till spring. So today, again, I'm going to talk about these ornamental grasses. I love them because of their low maintenance qualities, including very little fertility, very little water once established, as well as ease of maintenance. In the springtime, all you simply do is cut them off about six inches above the ground in late winter or early spring. I want to talk about a few of my favorites as well as new ones. This one happens to be brand new. It's a new dwarf fountain grass called Praline. It kind of takes the place of Hamlin, which can be very invasive in the landscape. This one has the same qualities, except for the fact that it's cleaner and non-invasive. This one's only about 18 to 24 inches tall. Every grass I'm gonna talk about today is really more of a full sun grass. Some of them can take a little bit of shade, but almost all of them are full sun. Staying in the short category, this one's a lot of fun. Budalula or Blonde Ambition Grandma Grass. You see these interesting seed heads. Again, about two, two and a half foot tall. One of my favorites at my home is this little guy called Cecilaria or Autumn Moor Grass. This one is about 18 inches, very sustainable, great for salt tolerance, great for drought conditions as well. See the interesting little seed heads on it. Prairie Drop Seed is in the native category. This one is a straight species, Sporobolus heterolepis. This one is an improved upon variety called Tara, and you notice that it actually keeps itself in shape a little bit better, doesn't splay as much as the common species does. So Tara is a great form of prairie drop seed. Once again, two of my favorites are those of Tanicums, which are the switchgrasses. I like both Shenandoah and Cheyenne Sky. You notice the red seed heads on both. You've got some red tinged foliage, especially in Cheyenne Sky. Cheyenne Sky is a little bit shorter than Shenandoah, being about three foot tall, whereas Shenandoah is more like three to four foot tall. They've done a lot of developing genetically with the little blue stems, and these are some great new varieties of little blue stems, uh, including uh, Standing Ovation, Twilight Zone, which both get about three to four foot tall, stay pretty upright. We'll get some interesting seed heads on them as well. This great new variety we introduced a while ago, Chameleon, very limited. This is the first variegated little blue stem, only about two foot tall. And then finally, some of my big blue stems, here we're talking about five to six foot tall, Red October with this great reddish black foliage, as well as Black Hawks. So grasses add this great dimension to any garden or landscape. So consider putting them in in September and October to add that beauty to the landscape. So thank you for joining. Wednesdays with Wayne, sponsored by Niemeyer's Landscape Supply. And remember, beautiful landscapes start here.